guys and welcome to this week's review. My name is Stuart Carter-Smith, thanks for dropping by. This week we're going to be reviewing the Rapsodo launch monitor and it's an MLM so it's a, a mobile launch monitor that you can take around and you can take to the range obviously, uh, maybe you can even take it out on the golf course. It's the first time I've looked at it, I've got it for a short while so I'm going to give it a quick whirl and see exactly what it can do and whether it would benefit us. Uh, I've heard that it's very good in confined spaces, so if you've got a small area in your garden with a net in it, maybe you've got a room in your house or maybe out in an out building like I have here, which is not particularly huge, but you still want to get some good numbers and make your practice worthwhile. So I'm going to start off now with a quick unboxing. If you were to purchase this device, you're going to see exactly what is going to be in that box when you get it, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you back here in just a second. So let's take a quick look at the app itself. Uh, let's go into it there, and this is our opening screen that we get. This is our home screen. Uh, we've got our sessions, top left, and then we've got stats just there. Um, as you can see here, there's our stats, which are quite nice and clear. And there's our sessions. So let me just pick out this, this session at the bottom here, because I've got the most shots on that one. Let's take a look at that one. I'm just gonna click on it there. And as you can see that, we can sweep down firstly and see all the shots we've hit. Um, so that's quite nice. They're all logged. You can see the shot pattern at the top here. That we can slide open. As you can see here, uh, that is our gapping. There's my 54 degrees, which is 100 yards. And there's our 130, which is the pitching wedge. And then if we move along here, um, I had a couple of bad 9-irons. But there's basically our 9-iron session. And there's the 8-iron up into the 7-iron, which I had quite a few of, because I was warming up with that one as well. And then I've got a few here at so six iron, five iron, and so on. You get the idea. And if I switch this to one side, there we go. So we can see now there's my gap in, which is not too bad. And if we click across here, we can see that's a nice display of the actual shots themselves. And I can click on there the gap wedge, that was the gap. So I hit a few punch ones and a few higher ones. And then we've got the wedge, which is pretty much the same. And then we've got nine iron and so on. I think you get the picture. There we go. So it's a good indication of our shot height pattern. And I think that's a really interesting view. So back to this area now, um, we can go down to, let's just choose one here. There, five iron, number 48. And so I'm just gonna switch that to the left and press there. And that's my shot. There's my distance and you can see the shot there. So the, all those are saved. I can get, get rid of that by sweeping it down. All those are saved and so we can see the actual swing itself which is quite good fun. You know you can look at the actual swing if you saw a really bad one you could go back into it and, and just see if there's anything you could spot that was a bit different. And it keeps them all which is fantastic. So the stats it actually looks at, uh, we've got yards, you can change this from um, yards to meters obviously if you wanted, but um, for my instance here we've got uh, distance in yards, that's the carry, we've got the ball speed, miles per hour, we've got the club head speed, I've got that in miles per hour, we've got the smash and shot type, so the smash is how efficient your actual strike is, and we've got the shot, shot type, which is if it's off to the right or the left, if it's a hook or a draw, slice, push draw, etc. And we've got a launch angle at the end there, which is uh, like really handy. I find that particularly good when you're driving. Um, so you can see exactly what you're launching at. Everybody's trying to get that decent launch on their driver. So that's quite a, a good one to take a look at. So that's all the parameters we really need. If we click in the top right here, we get um, a little, this is, Actually, in the net, this just kind of shows our shot grouping. Uh, but if we were out on a range itself, and it was behind us on a range, it would actually pick you up on that range by GPS. Uh, you'd plot the direction that you're actually going in, and it would show exactly where they are landing on the range. 
uh, which is something a lot of people ask me about when using the Arcos. Can you go to the range and see your distances? Well, you can't with that because Arcos is just um, through uh, playing out on the golf course. But with this, you can actually go to the range and you can see where those balls are landing and grouping. So if you're on a range with flags, you'll be able to see them from the overhead. You can see exactly where you're grouping around, maybe that flag or that 150 yard marker, etc. Okay, so that's all good. Um, then if I go back out and we go into coach, uh, we've got these instructors and we've, we can either uh, go to the featured coaches and look at some videos that those guys have done, um, or we can send via this to your coach. You can do this kind of before and after with your coach so he can actually uh, coach you online with numbers and ball flights um, with the shot tracer. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to move on then to explore. This is just kind of a fun one. Um, this one, oh, that's Nick Faldo, there we go. So this one is for people just to explore other people hitting shots around the world, just saving them up. Uh, just a bit of fun really and you can compare some, some, um, some statistics with you and some other people. Okay, and then and we've got our profile in the end, which we can see there. Um, we can change all our bits. Uh, we can calibrate the device and we can connect the device and uh, we can change it from yards to meters and all that sort of good stuff. Um, so back to the beginning, this really is the area you're gonna be, this kind of home area. This area you can see on the right, it says there net, you can see which, uh, whether you've been practicing at home in your net or whether you've been out on the range. So um, that's pretty handy as well to give you a good idea of what sort of turf conditions you're under. And we've got our lifetime, so we could do our stats in a week or a month, um, or maybe even over the whole year, because sometimes we go through a good patch, you know, and we want to see maybe um, in the month of August we played our best, or we want to see what our swing was like in the month of August and what our statistics were like. So that's really handy. I think that area is really good and being well looked after. That That is all the statistics you would want to see, to be honest. There's a couple as far as swing direction and delivery of club, which you're not going to get with any of these, these particular devices. Uh, but then again, if you want to go towards the Trackman and uh, GC Quad, etc., you know, those guys are 10 times the price of this. You know, a Trackman comes in about 21,000 pounds. So it's, it's quite a lot of difference in price. This is all you need. You want to see how far your ball's going. You want to see how well you're striking it. Maybe you want to keep an eye on your club head speed. That is really all you're going to need, especially when you're going to the range. You just want to see that ball flight and just verify it behind you. And if you're in your net or you're at home, that's exactly what you want to see. How far are you hitting these five irons that you think you're hitting well or maybe poorly? And get an idea of the direction. So this does give you a good idea of the direction. It's not quite as accurate, obviously, as these more expensive units, but it's certainly good enough. For the money, I think it's pretty amazing, to be honest considering how mobile it is, just hangs off the edge of your bag, you know, and you're away. So the Rapsodo also has a shot tracer built in, which I love, because you know me, I love a shot tracer. And so you hit your shots off on the range and uh, maybe out on the golf course as well, and you can see the peak height, which it measures and it shows you, and then it also sees your, your uh, dispersion either side, whether you're hitting it right or whether you're hitting it left. Uh, I think it's a really good feature, it's always nice to watch. It makes the shot look that much better when you're going through it after your session on the range. So another nice little feature is when you're on the range and maybe there's a lot of people around hitting golf balls and it's sat behind you, the worst thing you want to have is that barking out your stats and it kind of drawing attention to yourself. If you've got a set of earbuds or some kind of a wireless Bluetooth headphones, you can put those in, connect them up to your phone, and then when you hit your shot, it will just give you the information you need to your ear. You can certainly turn around and see it on the big screen, but it's nice to just hit those shots and get that uh, notification of where that's just gone so you don't look too silly on the range sometimes. So the downsides, um, there's only really a couple. I don't think it's expensive for what it is. I think it's really good. I think the main one really, just for me, uh, is the battery power and that it did suck a bit of battery out of my phone. So uh, my phone is uh, an iPhone 8 Plus, so maybe I need to upgrade it, but um, I had, um, you know, maybe if I had 50% of my battery power, it would suck that down pretty quickly. So, you know, if you're using this before you go out on the range, you might want another little battery pack or something like that. Maybe it's a bit different on a more modern phone. 
but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard wearing, but it's understandable because it uses the Doppler radar in the system itself and it also cross-references it with the camera. So you've got your powerful camera there and you've got your Doppler radar and they're cross-referencing each other. So I'm pretty sure that this has not been done before. So it's certainly not the case on the Mevo. Uh, those ones basically just use the radar inside. So I think this is quite nice. It's using the technology uh, of your phone to be able to get these good readings off of it. I guess the other downside is you need to be an Apple user because it's only iOS devices. You can use your iPad but it is at the moment, as far as I can see, just an Apple device system. You know, I know Apple's very popular, but uh, you know, for the guys with Android and other systems, uh, there's gonna be a bit of a downer. But like I said, you can use your iPad, uh, so that is always a, an option there. But um, yeah, so I think the downsides really are, sucks the battery a bit, I guess that's understandable, and you have to be into the Apple ecosystem. Uh, but that, you know, that's fine, there's things that you'll deal with. I think it's a great unit for what it is. I think it's really handy for most of us out there hitting shots and trying to get some numbers and making our practice worthwhile. So okay, let's hit a few seven irons, give it a go, see if we can loosen up a bit. Uh, I'm looking for 170, be nice. It's a little bit cold in here today, so. Pretty good. Do one more. So we're getting all the information we need. I can hear it obviously out loud at the moment. It's only one, two. It's just over two paces away. So what's that about? Six, six feet? Okay, there's not much that direction either. There is a setting where you can have, play games. So you can have longest drive and you can put a yardage marker out there maybe where your sort of average drive is and then you're gonna try and boom one a little bit further if you can, just as a little bit of fun. Also there's a closest to the pin, which you can just drag the target out to anywhere you like and then just say it's 100 yards, you can just hit wedges at it and see how close you can get that. I love those sort of things. I love games and, th and things where you can kind of just try and push yourself and it makes the practice session go a little bit quicker. So that's good fun. I enjoy doing some games, long driving. It's like kind of having a long driving competition with your, with your buddy and stuff. So the first thing to take from this is maybe we've got eight feet that way, maybe a little bit further, but we've only got six feet that way and it's picking up every single shot. No problems whatsoever. It's staying connected. I've actually got no internet connection in this room actually, so um, we don't even need the internet connection. I think we may have had a little bit of 3G. So we're not really needing the internet connection. It's just sat there quite happy. It's showing me my swings as I look back. It just replays the last swing that you had, which is quite nice. A little bit like the Swing Profile app, but obviously much more involved. So we've done some testings against Trackman and uh, I'll just put a little slide up here now that you can have a look at and see the differences between the two. Obviously, it's nowhere near the price of a Trackman, but you know, when we're talking such small parameters difference between this and the other, I think you know it's a great deal. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review. If you guys have any questions about the device, I've done a pretty good deep dive here, but I can certainly answer any more. Uh, put mention down below what monitor you use, if any, and if you think it would affect your game or whether it would be a good thing for you to have. Um, I'll also do some links down below from where you can get this device. Uh, it'd be great if you would support the website that lent me this gear. Uh, it's really nice of those guys to give us the opportunity to test this out before we can buy it. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys next week.